Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, who congratulated His Royal Highness on his safe return to Bahrain, wishing him lasting good health and happiness. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the Emir of Kuwait, hailing the strong fraternal relations between the two countries and people. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Emir of Kuwait with good health and happiness, and his country with further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness, the current Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Prime Minister of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. During the telephone call, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, and His, Ho His Highness uh, Kuwait's Prime Minister discussed the long standing historical ties between Bahrain and Kuwait. They also reviewed the coronavirus COVID 19 developments and underscored the importance of regional and international cooperation in combating and eradicating the virus. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghibi Palace. The cabinet extended its congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa after his safe return to the Kingdom of Bahrain, highlighting the wide-ranging positive contributions made by His Royal Highness towards advancing Bahrain's sustainable development across all fronts. The cabinet noted that uh, motherhood is a central building block of society and mothers throughout the kingdom continue to receive royal support to strengthen their ability to contribute to both working and family life. The cabinet welcomed the widespread public support to combat the coronavirus COVID-19. The cabinet also added that these efforts include the demonstration of a high level of awareness and social responsibility as well as the high volume of volunteering applications received. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser, made the following remarks. The Cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directive to unite Bahrain's efforts to contain the spread of COVID-19 to safeguard the well-being of citizens and residents through measures taken by the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to introduce a 4.3 billion Bahraini dinar economic stimulus package to support citizens and the private sector amidst the challenges presented by the global spread of COVID-19. In line with Article 87 of the Constitution, the Cabinet referred to the Legislative Authority an urgent request to amend Article 8 of Decree Law No. 78 for the year 2006 regarding insurance against unemployment to enable the government to pay the wages of Bahrainis working in the private sector for a period of three months starting from April 2020. The cabinet also decided to take the necessary measures to enable the government to pay the electricity and water bills of all individuals and companies for a period of three months starting from April 2020. 
The cabinet further decided to exempt individuals and businesses from paying the municipal fees included in the electricity and water bills for the months of April, May and June of the year 2020. Exempt industrial and commercial enterprises from government industrial land rent fees for the months of April, May and June of the year 2020 and exempt tourist facilities from tourist fees for the three months of April, May and June of the year 2020. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to ministers overseeing Bahrain's health municipal and commercial sectors to intensify inspections of shops and facilities to ensure they meet official health and safety requirements, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning presented the outcomes of site inspections carried out across the kingdom. The Cabinet referred a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislation Affairs for further study. The memorandum sets the framework for setting a board of trustees at the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies to facilitate the attainment of its goals, develop policies and supervise administrative, financial and academic work streams. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Labour and Social Development on the Ministry's plans for upcoming job fairs and the success of the 2019 job fairs in facilitating job opportunities for citizens. The Cabinet approved a memorandum on transferring all data related to national and youth clubs to the civil organization system at the Ministry of Labour and Social Development to maximize the benefits of a unified and integrated electronic database. The memorandum submitted by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs sets the framework for the transfer of data while preserving data confidentiality. The Cabinet approved a proposal to expand Raya Road extending from Galali to Bsaitin to expand road connectivity for al Dir, Semahij and Galali villages. The proposal was submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet approved a proposal to build a community health centre in Khalifa town and the allocation of a budget for the project. The Cabinet approved a draft of the government's response to a proposal from the Council of Representatives to institute preschools for boys in North Sehla, Bugua, Sarayatu and Jablat Habshi. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health and Chairman of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, which has been converted to a comprehensive inspection center for arrivals into the kingdom who are suspected of an infection. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah praised the ongoing support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy. Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their active engagement with the efforts of the National Task Force to ensure the health and safety of all. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah affirmed that these efforts are ongoing through the cooperation between the Supreme Council for Health and the National Task Force, as well as coordination with various relevant parties in the kingdom to detect and isolate cases of the coronavirus. He said that the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center has been provided with the best possible equipment as per the highest medical standards. During his visit, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah inspected the facilities of the center where he underlined the efforts that are being carried out by doctors and medical professionals, those of various partners from across the kingdom, and especially those of volunteers who collective efforts are helping the kingdom in meeting the recommended policies of the World Health Organization. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
The Minister of Finance and the National Economy attended the meeting of the Council of Representatives, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, along with members of the Services Committee as well as those of other parliamentary committees. During the meeting, the members of the committees reviewed the national objectives that the Cabinet is working to accomplish in an expedited manner. The minister said that these aspirations reinforce the royal directives to support the wages of the employees of the private sector through the unemployment fund for the months of April, May and June at a total cost of 215 million Bahraini dinars. The draft law has been urgently referred to the legislative authorities as per Article 88 of the Constitution. The minister praised the ongoing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, which prioritize the interests of the country and the citizens as per the directives of His Majesty the King. He added that this represents a part of the policies and decisions that are being taken to support the economy at a total cost of 4.3 billion Bahraini dinars. It is a result of the directives of His Majesty the King and affirmed that the two authorities as well as the rest of the country now stand united in their battle against the outbreak of the coronavirus. Based on the directives of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and upon the precautionary measures taken that banned the gathering of more than five people in public, the Sunni Waqf Directorate announced the suspension of uh, con congregational and Friday prayers in all mosques starting from today's Maghrib prayer Monday, the 23rd of March, until further notice to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The administration calls on worshippers to abide by this measure and to maintain the performance of prayers in their homes to preserve the country and and maintain safety and security. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism calls on all retail and supermarkets in the Kingdom of Bahrain to adhere to the guidelines issued by the Ministry of Health to combat the coronavirus by visiting the website of the Ministry of Health, which includes the following. Leaving one meter between each customer while shopping in retail stores. Hypermarkets and supermarkets in Bahrain activating the e-shopping service as much as possible in all retail stores, hypermarkets and supermarkets. Providing a temperature measuring device and checking all shop users by measuring their temperature. Easy access to goods with frequent purchases, providing hand sanitizers to all customers. The ministry urges all workers who work in supermarkets to wear masks and gloves and to clean and sanitize and sterilize all shopping carts before and after each use, as well as activating electronic payment devices remotely in all stores, hypermarkets and supermarkets. The Bahrain Defense Force General Command announced that the Royal Bahrain Navy Force will conduct a live munition firing at the Hayr Abu Amam area on March 24th and 25th between 10.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. The BDF cautioned all people to keep away from the firing zone for their safety.